Hello everyone, this is the guys in the I'm again on the creek today testing the M1. This is the ultralight spinning version. I already unboxed it. It will it will be a very very hard day. We had one week of heavy raining. I cannot see any fish in here, but oh, I forget I'm on spinning gear. Very very bad conditions. The water dropped really fast. The water level which is not good nothing to see here just went on the pipe but nothing was there just had a bite and today it's so crappy that i think it's what it counts one fish and i will be happy i was already happy with one bite because i didn't thought that i would get any i just saw three fish and one of them bite my lure so very 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 hard day so I'm going on the outfit of the creek trying to catch something near the bank until I make this broadcast. Zow! Right on the tree! So I heard the municipality guys cutting the branches on the side of the creek and I decided to take advantage of that because Chubb will feed on the falling bugs from the branches and maybe even the branches. Now it works, it's hooked, it breaches out of the water, now I'm just pinning the fish preventing it from going to the sides of the creek to trash, head out of the water, it's done, now it's just a question can I flip it and no I don't trust that much the fly snaps that they will hold even the the knot can slip from the fly snap and i can lose the fish so i'll go there with the net i will speed up this process i will just let you take a look of the fish again it was catch on the best lure ever the best legend no name crankbait and nice colors on the fish the water had some depth and some deep holes so i could return the fish safely it was very very lively but fishing was toast for today there were only three on the same spot and you know how it happens you need to rotate to catch more and i had nowhere to rotate so i'll just make a couple of cast tests to give you my final thoughts on the rod so just a couple of casts with the m1 and i will have to tell you that this rod packs a bit more punch than it seems so it can throw this four and a half gram crankbait to very very far don't be fooled by the one to three gram rating i'm throwing four and a half grams and the rod is handling like a champ or should i say handing what I think this is perfect for it's for small bass, perch because it has a lot of back bone to it it loads, I don't know if you, it will show you but you see me catching a fish on the video, you see how it loads actually it loads pretty nicely yeah it just munches you will not extract mu extract much more of such a smaller spinning rod without sacrificing accuracy pretty pretty accurate and is munching the higher grammage as a champ and now i will give you my final thoughts on the first time fishing with the handing m1 ultralight rod we reached the end of the session today i was fishing with the handing m1 i don't know if it will focus but this is the ultralight 
I had it paired with the Henning M1 500 size wheel, which actually makes sense, and I will explain you why. This rod, it's not truly a pure ultralight. Uh, my recommendation is going uh, over the one gram mark, so it says one to three grams, I would probably go one and a half, two, to maybe four and a half, and if you're not moving a lot of water, maybe five grams. I was, I caught a fish on the Basilagian, and this is a four and a half gram uh, lure that moves some water, I will not say a lot, but it moves a lot, some water on a faster current, it will drag a lot and the rod handled it with no problem i also had no problem hooking the fish and pinning the fish because it's the that perfect size of chub that will give you a cool fight and it was trying to go from bank to bank and this rod denied it so it pinned it very very well but with that it comes some sacrifices so this is a budget rod i think you can get it from 20 something euros or dollars to 40 depending on the size so this is on the lower end of the budget so 20 something maybe out of promotion 30 dollars and you can get a bigger version as a family the m1 is really for you to target predatory fish perch bass uh, shander uh pike you will have no problems dealing with that species even with this rod what you sacrifice on um, feel you get on backbone and a bit of stiffness to be able to handle the bigger fish so if you are into multi-species that uh, just nibble the lure and you have to be very very careful you will have other options on the market but if you are like me and you are starting to go after bass and especially like I will be doing on a flow tube where I need very very short rods this will be a good addiction to the my my arsenal of rods and also the ending M1 being a 8 kilo drag uh, reel it will also help when I saw that this wheel had 8 kilos of drag, I thought, eh, they were just taking the mechanics of the bigger wheels, putting on the drag system of the, this one, and it's not even calibrated correctly. Now it starts to make sense. This rod, it's a very, very good rod for bigger fish, not smaller. And the reel also the same deal, even though it's very, very small and compact, it can pack a punch and i'll be eager to test more this combo when i start to go on adventures on my float tube hopefully next month on a tournament i'll see you guys next time bye